short essay from my book, Legs Get Led Astray. Um, the essay is called, My Mother Wanted to Be Betty Boop. <laughs> my mother wanted to be a dancer. In the living room, when I was a kid, we danced to Stop in the Name of Love by the Supremes, and she had a glass of red wine in her hand, and she twirled me round and round. Years later, when I was a teenager, a man came up to us at a wedding and asked if we were mother and daughter. You dance with the same sensuality, he said. My mother wanted me to be an artist, so she brought, bought me crepas and canvases and put a purple beret on my head. She told me about Van Gogh and Picasso, and we sat on the couch looking at Carl Larson books. My mother wanted to be Betty Boop. Betty Boop was independent. Betty Boop was sexy. Betty Boop really had her shit together, you know? She vacuumed a lot. She always had earrings on and lipstick. My mother wanted her daughter to be sexually free since she was not. I guess that's why she'd leave the joy of sex out for my male friends and me in high school to look at. And that's what we did during our high school weekends. We ate grapes and studied vaginas on Friday and Saturday nights. I guess that's why she'd give us condoms with happy faces on them and condoms on lollipop sticks when she would pick us up from the ice cream shop. I guess that's why my mother was the mother that told my friends they could talk to her about sex if they could not talk to their own mothers. But the last time I saw my mom, she told me I was too sexually free. <laughs> my mother wanted a daughter that looked like Scout from To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> my mother expected a daughter that looked like Scout from To Kill a Mockingbird. That is who she and her sisters looked like. She thought she'd have her own little Scout. That's what she knew and loved. But my mother got me, a mess, a mob, I popped out early and happy and loud with a maelstrom of thick curly blonde hair, green eyes instead of brown, thick hair instead of thin, voluptuous instead of skinny, no chicken legs, not one straight hair, never a pixie cut, breasts by the time I was 13. Everyone was always asking how I got blonde hair and my parents always said the postman, a joke I did not understand for a very long time. <laughs> My mother wanted her hair to be curly. She told me that having me was like having a kid with an afro, that it was like having a black kid, that she was expecting a little scout and got a blonde bombshell. Her words, not mine. My mother and her four sisters all had straight brown-haired pixie cuts. Their mother cut their hair with bowls over their heads in the basement. My mother wanted dimples and would try to indent her cheek with her finger. My mother wanted to be Bob Dylan and in the car when Mr. Jones by the County Crows came on the radio. She turned it up and threw her hand up in the air and yelled, I want to be Bob Dylan. My mother wanted to be Lucinda Williams. My mother wanted to be Michelle Schacht. My mother wanted to be healthy, so when she was eating Lay's potato chips or Rolos in the car, she would give them to me to chuck in the back seat where she couldn't reach them anymore. <laughs> My mother wanted to be a Buddhist and sat on a pillow upstairs in her bedroom to meditate. My mother often took naps on the couch after work, saying, I'm not sleeping. I'm resting my eyes. My mother says that if she wrote a memoir, she would quote Leonard Cohen in the beginning. There's a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. My mother told me when she was little, she thought that babies were conceived when you lie down horizontally next to a boy. But then her sister informed her that no, no, she was wrong. French kissing was what made babies. <laughs> My mother told me that you, if you are falling in love with someone, then they are probably falling in love with you. My mother told me I was high as a kite one day after school while I stood at the kitchen counter babbling about high school and eating stoned wheat thins. And she asked me if I could please not get so stoned after school. <laughs> Before I was born, my mother wanted to be a mother, and every morning while she drove to the preschool she worked at in her red Toyota, she pretended she had a child with her. She would reach out and touch the leg of the invisible child and say, what do you want to do today, honey? My mother going to yoga class. My mother going to therapy. My mother going to figure drawing class. My mother's books next to the toilet in the downstairs bathroom. Uncertainty, anger, when things fall apart. My mother's books on the coffee table. Van Gogh, Bonnard. My mother's books in the upstairs bathroom. Feminism and the philosophy of men. Motherhood, a gift of love. She's come undone. Sometimes there were caterpillars on the toilet paper, and there are always cobwebs in the shower. The spiders in the shower were her friends, and she tells me to leave them because it is bad karma to kill them. My mother, doing downward dog on the floor. My mother in cat pose. My mother in spinal twist. My mother being a tree. 
my mother, taking off her bra underneath her shirt when she came home from work and saying it was the best part of her day. My mother, standing at the counter reading the newspaper and eating pretzel rods. My mother, crouched in a rectangle of sun from the skylight, painting her toenails mauve. My mother, running around in my head like a cartoon. Thanks, everyone. Wow.